Training Camp Rio 2015. And uh, the official camp's ended. We're still here in Rio. Join ourselves a, a nice couple of acais. A couple of buddies just hanging out after the camp. <laughs> what did you think of the camp, man? Did you have a camp good time? was awesome. I forgot it. Um, I've been to many BJJ camps, and you know I make friends wherever I go. Um, but this particular, there's something special about this camp. We're connected with a good group of guys, and. Man, uh, every single day, I learn something new. You know? oh, literally, every, not every single day, every single class. We had two classes a day, and it was just mind-blowing. There's too many techniques to take in. Uh, good good but, thing we got it all on film, huh? Yeah, so I got it all on film, so I can drill it all and put it out on YouTube for everyone to show. But um, next year, is going to be even... It's going to be even... Uh, better you know they're bringing the whole Carl Carlson Gracie team the original Carlson Gracie team back together Laborio is going to be here bringing 20 black belts uh, Carlson Gracie Jr is going to be back the Ari Garlo someone I've never met before and have been exposed to his Jiu Jitsu which is incredible Nike amazing human being as well and um, it's just it's been a blast we've been I've been here for just over a week 10 days and it's man I gotta go gotta leave so uh, yeah, yeah. What didn't, do you didn't feel like it? Yeah, it's a shame it's over. <laughs> Something we were talking about earlier, just amongst friends, and I was kind of I was thinking about it. That was really interesting. Was I've been to my personally, I've been to you know a handful of seminars with some greats, and usually there there's a main instructor and maybe uh, one of his better students will come along, and everybody's getting the help they need and learning some cool techniques. And one of the things that's crazy, it seemed like there was a number of days where we were in this room with 55 you know people learning jujitsu and of those 55 there would be 20 or 25 people who were black belts and it was it's kind of we were joking it was like being a part of the uh getting to witness the jedi yeah. jujitsu council or something where we were literally in the jedi council you know yoda's there <laughs> fucking obi-wan kenobi yeah, obi-wan kenobi qui-gon jinn you know darth you know. vader might have even showed up for a few minutes oh yeah yeah <laughs> you know, young anakin skywalker <laughs> when he's good it was madness. They would show us a technique and you turn around and see 25 black belts like putting tweaks on it. And yeah. This is what I did and it was just kind of overwhelming at times but just mind-blowing and yeah. some classes seemed like they were really regimented and then other times there was a lot of creativity and yeah. And man, there was never a lack of jiu-jitsu. There was so much jiu-jitsu. It was almost... Yeah, you're right. So the show is an amazing technique. We'd be drilling it and then all these great minds would come together and they'd be sharing each other's new discoveries and they're like oh wow let me show you this let me show you this and before you know it the whole room is crowding you know piling together watching these guys and then they'd show us what they've just been talking about which was completely unplanned yeah you know, it was cool it was a great experience to be around all this it was something new for me and i've been around jiu-jitsu a lot for the last six seven years cool yeah we were all very very happy and excited to have you come along and show up and i feel like all of us who you know organize it from us to the people who attended to you i feel like we all made a lot of new friends and had oh, yeah. a great time and like you said like so much jujitsu it's it's hard to take it all in and uh it's an honor to work with you and we're all really stoked you're a part of it yeah yeah thanks um, too no it's been an honor all right <laughs>